Ja, da, da me apo za Echiran i Justin Bieber, a? Justin Bieber i Echiran so I don't care. Nije smo jeve vo studiju te nazad na Utrinska na Tilma, ki se izbruvame za jedna interesna tema, odnosno ki se izbruvame za start-up kompaniji in to, kako da se bide dobra start-up kompanija, ovo pa priko jedno izraelsko iskustvo. Pat od uspehot. Da, pat od uspehot. Imame na vistini eden prekrasen čovek ovde so nas bo v studiju to, koji što ki zboruva kako Eve konkretno bilo njegovo to izkustvo v Izrael in kako vse to toga prenesova v denešnjite, da rečeme, oni je patovanja, predavanja, što ki pravi in tako na tomu, kako go prenesova njegovo to izkustvo na Eve konkretno makedonskata nacija. Da, so Siniša, v sličnost ovaj razgovor go najvekme, na što se raduvame jaz jedan ušte v vtornikot. Oficijalno go imamo gospodin Rem Gilboa, vek je podsjetovame, da je gospodin Rem studiral antropologije in biznisni nadžven v sad Megito, malko pobejke okolo izkustvata, spodeli Elena in okolo ova startup kompanija, startup nacija, kje govorime so njego. Ruži se objevte? Roza. Roza. I Roza, ki ne vidi tukaj se kako v uloga na prevedoč. I opicijalno, good morning to you. Good morning, thank you for having me here. Ja, 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 ja. Dobro, ki započnemo od toga, koja je vaša ta pričina za doadjanje v Makedonija? I što je ono što sakate, da go prenesete konkretno na na ono i seminar što ki se sluči, odnosno na pat od uspehat. So, first we will start with what's the reason for your coming to Macedonia and what in particular would you like to share as an experience here in our country and at the seminar that you have today? I was invited by Mr. Sinisha, who is a very good friend of mine, to the seminar about business, about startup and share my experience as a businessman and as the owner of several startup in Israel. Um, it's an honor for me to come to beautiful Macedonia and share my experience and I hope to have some fruitful cooperation mm -hmm. with companies here, share idea and have mutual and fruitful uh, cooperation, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, jaz bev pokane, to gospodin Ociniša, koji što vojedno je moj prijatelj Neli, predse kako stopanstvenik, kako sobstvenik na startup kompanije, kako biznismen, koji što doadja od Izrael in na vistina mi predstavova česti zadovoljstvo, što sem tukaj v Makedonija, da gospodela moje to izkustvo in se nadevam, da vos postavime dobra sorabotka vojnina. Odlično. Bi sakrali, da go pračem, Gospodin Otrem, pričinite zašto stranskete kompanije investirajo godin nazad v Izrael? So, the question is, what's the reason for the foreign companies to be investing in companies in Israel? The crucial thing, Mr. Rem. Israel is very famous for being an innovative country. There are mixed reasons for this innovation. In Israel, we have over 6,000 uh, startup companies, even though it's a very small country of mm -hmm. just 9 million people. Um, this uh, mixed reason um, creates very interesting idea that um, help multinational companies such as Intel, IBM, Amazon, Samsung, mm -hmm. LG mm -hmm. have R&D centers in That's Israel. companies also, yeah. Yes, we have over 300 <laughs> R&D centers in Israel. Mm -hmm. um, nice. They come uh, to Israel for the innovative ideas for the passion Israeli mm -hmm. people have for innovative idea mm -hmm. and um, try to find new solutions for all problems. Mm -hmm. okay. Izrael je država koja što je poznata po svojite inovacije. Postojat nekoliko pričini poradi koji kompanije te odlučuvaju da investirajat vo Izrael. Imame preko 6.000 start-up kompanije i voopšto kompanije vo Izraela. Izrael je mala država od samo 9 milijoni žiteli. Pričinite se zato što postojat mnogo kreativni ideji i tokmo poradi toga golemite kompanije kako što se Intel, Amazon i Samsung odlučuvaju da investirajat tokmo vo Izrael. Imame preko 300 centri za razvoj i istraživanja v Izraeli, to je ušte jedna od pričinite, poradi koji kompanije se odločuva da investira. Tako, ko biše vaš odličen uspeh, pat od uspehot, koliko biše trnljiv pat od uspehot in kako jednostavno to, što vi go naučite niz životot, go prenesuvate na vsega, novite kompanije, start-up kompanijite in tako nato? What was your way to success and how difficult was it and how, can, how do you plan to share it with the new companies and the new startups now? Um, good question. It, in the beginning, it's always very difficult. For example, um, one of startup companies I have started as uh, 
as usual, you know, like many people, we sit in a cafe complaining mm -hmm. about life, yes. about government, about this. This is this. not good. Yes. This uh, yes. 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 <laughs> and um, my friend told me that uh, he has a neighbor that uh, the child is handicapped and cannot go up and down the stairs by himself. Uh -huh. So his parents take him on a wheelchair down the stairs and up the stairs. And we thought, how come if we have spaceship to to the moon and we have autonomous cars, how come there are no solution for wheelchair, mm -hmm. for handicapped people? Mm -hmm. So after we complained quite a lot for several hours, mm -hmm. we decided we have to do something about it. So uh, it took us a long time and we started in my friend's <laughs> kitchen <laughs> and disturbed his wife. Spot from the stuff. <laughs> we disturbed his wife cooking, we broke uh, the sink. She kicked us out to the basement. <laughs> and slowly, slowly, we develop. And right now, we're at the end of our end of development of a wheelchair without motor, mm -hmm. no engine, that can go up and down the stairs oh by God. itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's not necessarily high tech, but we have to be innovative to help people. Creative. Mm -hmm. And awesome. sometimes the beginning is very small and very difficult in the kitchen or in the mm -hmm. basement, mm -hmm. but we have to be determined to be successful. And even if we fail, get up and continue again. And That's uh, the life mm -hmm. of entrepreneur is mm -hmm. full of failure. And sometimes we lose money and mm -hmm. we have to change our idea and to find a way to be successful. But if we believe in ourselves and we want to be successful and we want to be uh, to help people, I believe mm -hmm. it's very important yes. to find solution to help society. So, okay. great. This is a great story. Let's take a look at it. Vaka, so this is a very interesting question. And I tell you that every start-up is hard. And one of the companies that I started in the first start-up, or if you see all the other people, you sit in a cafe, and one of my regrets is that I don't know how much the government is not doing it. And one of my friends told me that I know a friend who has children with a handicap, and the child has a problem, and he can't get up and down the scale. And then I started in a cafe, and I was like, it's not strange how long the government is doing it. We have a lot of autonomous cars, and we have a lot of autonomous cars, and we can't even solve the problem with the cars, 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 and then we started to think about the solution. We started to work with the other friend, the other woman, 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 После така од подрумот почнала целата приказна. Нели да смислат количка која што работи без мотор и може да се качува нагоре и надолу по скалите. Не мора се да биде високо технолошки mm -hmm. развиено, туку може со малку креативност нели да постигнеме многу повеќе. Дали во кујна или во подрум, битно е да бидете mm -hmm. посветени и да не се откажувате од идејата. Ете тоа е патот до успехот. Патот до успехот. Пато до успехот ќе не доведе на мој семинар, само да подсетиме за сите оние кои што ќе бидат присутни, што в сушност генерално ќе има прилика да слушнат од господот Рем, особено како што кажавме дека во своето си има дека проложил со студии за историја, филозофија и наука за социологија, социологија со стратегија, психологија, крирање токму на идеи. Живел во Јужна Кореја околу 8 години и така натаму, значи на вистина е голема CV портфолио за себе. Кој да го најавиме на крај да. Да. 30 мај односно денеска се случува семинарот, што конкретно ќе се зборува на семинарот? So what is going to be the topic of this seminar today? What precisely? I would like to <laughs> talk a little bit about Israeli startup, mm -hmm. about the reason why Israel is known as startup nation, what motivates us to be successful, to think outside the box, uh, to share my experience. It's very important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to think uh, outside, outside the of box. the box, yeah. yes. And um, I think it's very important to understand, as I said before, that failure is, is a must, it's necessary. Because everybody, most people are afraid to fail, mm -hmm. so they never try. Mm -hmm. But there is a little bit success in that failure. <laughs> Every of time. Of course. My mentor um, was a very successful man, and he went bankrupt three times. Seriously? And <laughs> it, his fourth time was one of the biggest company in Israel, and he sold it for $5 billion to Warren Buffett. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if he gave up before, it would never be successful. <laughs> yeah, I agree. 
Јас денеска значи ќе зборувам на семинарот за успехот на Израел и кои се причините поради, причините поради кои Израел е познат како нација на стартап компании, што Израел всушност го чини како е успешна земја и како ние размислуваме малку пошироко, нели надвор со пошироки погледи. Исто така многу е важно да сватите дека неуспехот и падот се необходни, нели луѓето се плашат од неуспехот и токму затоа се плашат и да да, да се обидат да пробаат било што. Мојот ментор, кој што е многу успешен човек, денеска три пати банкротираше за четвртиот пат да изгради многу успешна компанија која што ја продаде на Ворен Бафет за 9 милиони долари. Постоја некоја е, базично правило, некаква формула, некаква математика или што и да е, која да што кажува како може да се изгради една стартап компанија. Со оглед на тоа дека Македонија сигурно не е иста, што и Јужна Кореја, што и Израел, што и Германија и така натаму, предпоставувам дека има некакви различни чекори во градењето на таа стартап компанија. Или пак може би секаде е едно исто. Is there any formula, any rule that is very basic and essential for a successful startup company? Since Macedonia is not the same as Israel, it's not the same as Korea or as Germany, so can you give like a rule of thumb anything that's specific for a successful startup? I wish there was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, I, <laughs> but there is no a formula. <laughs> no formula, but I think because uh, Macedonia, same like Israel, no small country, not many people, not much natural resource. Uh, you must use your brain and be innovative in order to be successful. Mm -hmm. I agree. And I think this, um, this situation could play for your favor because you don't rely on oil or water or natural resource. Just use your brain very close to Europe mm -hmm. and big market is right here mm -hmm. and smart people so mm -hmm. the road for success is is right there. Mm -hmm. Just take a risk and be yes. bold. And for the end, do you have maybe, Mr. Rem, a daily mantra for your life? Just like advice for our audience here. My rule of thumb, uh, the things that lead my life is I try to do good for people. Mm. That's, that's, nice. that's why I try to, de I develop my wheelchair and other businesses, most of them, I'm thinking about people's life, what bothered them, no. what troubled them, and try to help them. We are on the same man. page, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm here. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Значи да, Македонија исто како Израел нели е многу мала држава и нема многу ресурси на располагање и токму затоа мораме да размислуваме, да го користиме, да ги користиме своите мозоци и да бидеме иновативни, но тоа ни оди во прилог затоа што не се потпираме ниту на нафта, ниту на други природни ресурси, туку на мозокот е, и на паметни луѓе. И сега прашањето беше нели дали има некоја мантра нешто што е, го користи, да. Uh, мојата мантра е да правам добро за луѓе. Тоа е со овој обид нели да изгледа да развиеме таква количка за лица со посебни потреби и општо во бизнисот кога работам секогаш мислам на луѓето и размислувам како да им помогнам на луѓето. Одлично. Е Мислам дека тоа е и одлична реченица како за финиш за ова наше денешно дружење.